Okay, this week we're going to review Buffalo Trace straight bourbon, Kentucky bourbon, I, which is I, made in the same town as Wild Turkey, by the way. Yeah, there's three, isn't there? Yeah, I got to find the third one. I it's I can't I can't remember off the top of my head. But you, there's you'll know it, but there's three that are like within blocks of each other. I was drinking this shit just before COVID. I was drinking it quite regularly. My LCBO was stocking it regularly. Yeah, and then like May of last year of 2020, it disappeared, and I have not seen it since. Yeah, and I was in a LCBO uh, in Burlington, Ontario, to grab a gift for a friend. Jeez, and I saw <laughs> two of them on the shelf. That was it, and I grabbed both. Good. I haven't seen it. I I assume that it I've, like I've kind of stopped. I've kind of stopped looking for it. I was I I came I like ran back to the car as if like like a little kid, and Tony was like, "What the fuck did you just grab?" Like the IKEA commercial. Pretty much. Start the Start car. The car. Start the car. Start the car. And uh, hang on, a little ASMR coming at you. Ooh, that was tight. Very tight. Yeah. It's a good shit. I like it. Oh, my God. Missed you, old friend. Yeah. Okay. I thought there was, I thought like you had an inside man and they like somehow got it no, for I you. No, got, I got fucking lucky. Yeah. I really got lucky. No kidding. Um, Oh my Lance. I oh, came does that smell good? Came running out of the LCBO like I had stolen something. Yeah. And then she's like, I had no idea that you had she's like, I was just wondering why you didn't have it. I'm like, oh, I didn't tell you that it hasn't been on the shelves. So I'm like, if you are anywhere, any LCBO and you, and you see, see it, it, just buy it. Yeah, get a bottle. Just get at it. least one. She's like, fuck, I had no idea. I would have. I'm like, perfect. Yeah. Well, cheers. Cheers, buddy. This is gonna this be this has good. really nice color. It's nice and dark, eh? Ooh. Oh yeah, that is the stuff. Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah, I need to get some. Yeah, I kind of stopped looking for it because I forty five percent for all those aficionados out there. By the I way. remember going to the LCBO pre COVID, even the start of COVID, and this shit had a pretty much own shelf. Yeah. And now you're lucky if yeah. if you know somebody that has a bottle. Never mind finding one. I feel like the luckiest man in the world for finding this. And people in the States are probably like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, It's everywhere down there, most likely. Yeah. Here, it's a joke. Now I hear, so one of the podcasts I watch, Buffalo Trace is one of the guys' fit, like favorite of whiskeys. Mm -hmm. And again, he was talking about how there's like three, they're all fantastic in the in the same area. And he's like, we went to go to the distillery, dude, a two-hour lineup. I believe it. To get in, yeah, you just to you the st just to the shop. Probably have to like fucking buy tickets in advance. I don't know that. That's just to the shop. So even if you did like the distillery tour, mm -hmm. you're still waiting in that line to go into the shop. I don't think you get a bypass. No, you probably don't. Yeah. Oh and people God. are waiting two hours. Could you imagine showing up on a day, two hours, you get in and there's literally nothing but a t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> like, how fucking uh, awful would that be? That would suck so much. Yeah. I uh, was doing a job at a, at a hospital for pretty much the, the whole duration of COVID. It was there before COVID existed. Yep. And I left and COVID's still around. And the, we were doing work for an American company. The guy was from Chicago and I, he was only on site for a couple of weeks. And then he's like, I got to get out of here or else right before the borders and shit all closed. Oh he loved God. Buffalo Trace. Really? Loved it. And he sent us a photo because he was still the project manager. He was just doing it remotely. And he sent us a, a photo. He like took a trip down to Kentucky in the summertime, went to the distillery, loaded up on bottles, a bunch of gear. Obviously he got in, but I know it's like. It's nice. crazy. I, I, I think a lot of people, one, I think there's been more publicity about it. So, yeah. like, again, the podcast I listen to, it's not a small podcast. No. So, you got to think of everybody that listens to that, that loves what they do. They're going to go out and buy at least one bottle and try it. Try it, yeah. That's a shit ton of people right there. And then you have everybody else that loves whiskey that stumble upon it. If you like bourbon, this is the shit. This, this is the this fucking is shit. Probably top three for me. That's oh, so good. Like, 
You you've had it before, right? I gave you some before. Or did yeah, you... I, I think I've had my own bottle before. Okay. Yeah, it's not my first time having it. No, I didn't think so. Yeah, but I like, just couldn't. But it's I've been had a it while. With you. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've picked up my own bottle throughout the years, and then I think the most times I've had it is with you. But fuck. Anyway, we're gonna review this. We're yeah. gonna talk about some woolly mammoths. Oh my god! And uh, my Chris predicts that is one of my favorite animals. They're fucking weird. Yeah, they're not even around anymore either. Like literally hairy elephants. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you nailed it. So we're gonna talk about those. Man, that's good. I think I'm gonna go smooth this right off the hop. All right, I'm listening. This I is, got a notebook today. I'm I'm prepared. This, this is gonna be my highest smoothness, I think. No shit. I think so. I'm, All right. I'm going nine four. This shit is Fucking smooth. Nine point three for me. Yeah, it's fucking it's smooth. outrageous, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's. I'm gonna do flavor next because it's fucking delicious. Oh, it's fantastic! It's like it is flat out delicious to taste if you are a fan of bourbon. If I had to make a prediction for this week, it's that this is probably going to be our highest whiskey review. Not as sweet as um, no typical bourbon. Yeah, like wild turkey or. But the to think of flavor is all there too. Yeah, they, this is like a perfect balance. I find. Yeah, this is fucking perfect. Okay. This is uh, this is a great in between. This is nine point one on the flavor scale for me. Okay. Do you can you pick, have okay? I know we talk about this a lot and like how it would be nice to be able to pick out. I don't know if caramel's a thing in this, but that's like the closest that's thing getting? I can get. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna as say as far the same as like thing. level of like taste and smoothness. Yeah. That's the yeah. closest thing I can get. I would love to be able to, and I'm pretty sure yeah, we can identify say this, it every. But like, I don't care to identify everything. I listened to a wine review mm -hmm. the other day, and like this guy's like, "Oh, there's a hint of oak and fucking roses," and yeah. it's like, how do you fucking know this? You literally, it's just like practice. You train. So when I guess you, it's like a chef. Well, it's. Because my they aunt, pick out shit. my aunt does it. She's a sommelier. Yeah, she like retired and wanted to get paid to drink wine, so she fucking good went for and her. took a course and like she's a certified sommelier. Good for her. She's never done anything with it Still. other than give us lots of good wine. Yeah. Um, now you have to call her. What's that? Which aunt is it? Ah, uh, Terry. Terry sommelier. Yeah, Terry sommelier. Yeah, she's a sommelier. <laughs> um, so it sounded better in my head. Yeah, it fell a little flat, but <laughs> yeah. it's okay. We we rebounded. <laughs> man, I'm having a rough go today. Yeah, that's man. all good. Um, she can pick out like hints like oak, this, and she can tell you like on a blind taste test what grape was put into the wine. Jesus. So the down to the grape. Down to the grape. So the way the best because you said like how do you learn this shit? I would think that like. Really, you have to be taught what these flavors taste like and smell like. So yeah. when, like, if we were to take a sip of this and they're like, do you detect that sweetie? Like, they'll they'd probably describe it and you'd be like, yeah, 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 that's what I'm getting. Okay, that is this. oak or toasted walnuts. I also wonder, like, because you said down to the grape. Obviously, there's a shit ton of grapes, but I wonder if there's, like, um, like your generics and then kind of your off-breeds that are similar to certain things. Yeah, I think... The, so if they're the, like, here's grape A, this is what grape A tastes like, grape B. Yeah. And you can like smell it, taste Well, a lot it. of it is based on region. So it's not as complicated, like it's complicated in the fact that you and I would not be able to tell you where a fucking wine came from by <laughs> tasting it. But I I think how they do it is like, okay, we're going to do, uh, we're going to do a, a semester on French wine. And right. there's like two dominating, let's just say there's two dominating grapes in the French in the French region and like Burgundy and wherever the fuck. And so once you spend a semester tasting and sampling, you, you know what those wines taste like. Yeah. Then you move on to Italy okay. and then like okay. South America. Gotcha. So I think it's like, it's you, you, you're you really like studying something, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're perfecting your craft on it. Yeah. That's cool as shit though. What's your flavor? My flavor. Hmm. I know we're going... Yeah, All we kind of we. I, I had to go smoothness. I know. I wanted it was to hit in the, my head. I wanted to hit the flavor because that's the one that popped for me right away. Hmm. 
I almost wish there was a little more. I'm going to go 8-9. Okay. Yeah, I wish there was a little more. I tried to this out and I forgot that I saw the fuck right. <laughs> you had a right. Dumbass. Now you look like me before we started the oh fucking episode, God. which they'll see at the intro. <laughs> 8.9. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, shit. You want a little more flavor out of it, eh? Just a In little. What sense? Like, like, do you um, want it to be a little more sweet? No. Like, uh, I don't. I think the sweetness is perfect where it is. I, I think you nailed it with it's the happy medium. Mm hmm. But I would, I would like something that's got a um, just a little bolder, I guess. Okay, well, fair enough. What's uh, what was your first impression right off the hoop? F- first the impressions virgin. high. Uh, and mine's high as well. Yeah, I'm, I, I, fuck. I'm gonna go nine six on the virgin. There was mm-hmm. nothing, nothing bad about my first gulp. It wasn't even a sip. Yeah, I'm gonna go nine point four. Yeah, it was um, literally. I couldn't tell you one thing wrong about it. Smooth. No, didn't no, no. burn. Tasted great. Yeah. Don't get me wrong when I say like it was smooth, didn't burn. Like I still knew I was drinking fuck whiskey. It's warm. Yeah, but it yeah. it fucking went down. You need another glass, I guess. Yeah, I do. Oh God, this is. How'd you not broke? Yeah. Liquid gold. What do we got left? Finish and smell. I'm just going to take a little bit more and then that's me done. Hmm. It smells it pretty much like a taste, just a little more alcohol in the smell. My so, COVID nose doesn't work. <laughs> still, eh? <laughs> Is there an estimate to when you'll get that back? Probably never. Never. No. <laughs> Fuck. I haven't been Can consulting a doctor. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> Me, I, I think Chris I was trying been... to explain this last week, but I, th- I think losing your sense of smell makes you realize how not good your sense of smell was before. Yeah, you like, did say that. You did I, say that. My smell could be back exactly where it was, and you but now I've always had an experience of not having been able to smell at one time in my life. Yeah. And now I'm like... Fuck, is my smell back? <laughs> or was my smell just always just, just garbage? always terrible. That's hilarious. Uh, I don't get a ton of the alcohol in this one. No? Maybe it's because I'm really huffing on it. Yeah, I just huffed it like fucking paint thinner. I think uh, it's an after... An after bite in the nose. It's pretty... It's uh, wildly unoffensive. Yeah, very. It's mm. high. It's high. Yeah. It, my, mine's going to be 8-8. Eight, eight. You actually took the words right out of my fucking mouth. Did, did, I was yeah. going to say 8.8. Yeah. Yeah. It does. It it smells just like it tastes. Actually, it probably tastes a little sweeter. It tastes better than it smells. Okay. I think. like yeah. Because it's sweeter. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. doesn't smell as sweet as it tastes. Yeah. yeah. Do you have anything wrong with your finish? I'm trying to... I'm trying to find something wrong with it. No, I don't. If it's good, it's good. Yeah. But you know, like, I'm just trying to, like, I, I'm so hyped up in my head that you actually have this bottle, <laughs> and that I'm actually drinking it, and that, like, everything good about it is, like, it does. Out, it but... doesn't burn. Um, it doesn't hang around. The last couple of weeks that we drank a bottle, had some pretty heavy burns. Yeah, it feels like an afterburn. This is gone. Like, uh, what'd you call it? Um, it's reflex? Like, it's like acid reflux. Yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. Uh, once this is gone, she's gone. And but the one thing I will say about the finish is that it doesn't add or take away anything. No, it's kind of like. Do you remember what whiskey we had? And it was like when you, when you finished it, there was even like. I think it was the Dalwini. Okay. The Dalwini was it, like adding the whole way through. I think that's our yeah. highest rated bottle. I I, I was really hoping you weren't going to say that PD one. Cause, no, because that thing just tasted like fucking campfire. No, 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 no. Down. The reason I think the Dalwini had a a high finish was because it Even, wasn't a peaty flavored scotch. Yeah, but I got a very sense, a very fucking faint taste of it. Long after, like yeah. I don't know. Yeah, no, I'm with you on that. I think you're. I think you're right. All right, give us your finish. Fucking good. Yeah. <laughs> 
You want to stay over? <laughs> <laughs> I have a child, otherwise I would. Yeah. Uh, fuck. It's in the nines, buddy. It's 9.3. Yeah. I don't, I can't find anything wrong with it. Neither can I. It's not, um, yeah, sorry for the fucking lack of descriptors. It's just fucking, it's pretty well perfect. Yeah. Like, there's there's a reason it's not on our shelves. I would say. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm close to you and I'm going to go 9-1. Okay. And again, uh, it's a little, little lower for me just because it doesn't add, I kind of like it when it does add a little bit. Now, I think that's very hard to, to get in a bottle, if that makes sense. It, it's either, if, it's either like it doesn't add or take away or you run the risk of it taking away from the actual bottle. Does that make sense? Like it, I find a, a bottle either like with the finish, it's like pretty neutral like this. Like it doesn't mm-hmm. add, take away. But those bottles that do add or take away, it could go either way. Yeah. Like it's, you're, you're, also you're almost find, running a risk having the Yeah, the I, al- I also find that there's ones that don't add or take away similar to this that I've also rated lower because yep. I think... See, for me, the reason that this is rated so high is because it's it's consistent the whole way through. Yeah. Whereas, like... There's literally... We, we drank other stuff where the finish was, like... It was, like, really good in flavor. It was really smooth. But then it just kind of, like, petered out. I don't know. It Like, it wasn't, it wasn't anything yeah. either way. I don't know if that makes any fucking sense yeah. at all. But, but then again, you have like the the I almost want to say like the last three weeks, uh, whiskeys or drinks bottles, they all had like that acid. Yeah, they reflex. were they were heavy. I I don't think last week was as bad, but it was it was uh pretty harsh though. Yeah, I would say yeah. Well, thank you for sharing this bottle. No problem. Even Stevens again here, buddy. No way. Nine twos across the fucking board. And a nine two well deserved. Yeah. If you have never tried Buffalo Trace, try your damn to find it. To fucking find it and get it. And if you can get it. Even the fruit flies like it. Look. Dude, get two get two <laughs> bottles. We're outside again. And if you don't like it, feel free to send it our way. We'll drink it. Yeah. <laughs>